Okay, deep hand dissection. So we take this hand, so learn where we are. We're just in the distal hand. And what we did was we took out all of the flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus tendons. We just pull those out to the side. And what's left is the ulnar nerve. Ulnar nerve here, ulnar artery. And here is the median nerve. And so the ulnar artery actually comes down, goes through Guyon's canal. And the ulnar artery has basically most of the supply for the superficial arch of the hand. Now there's a little tiny piece of it that goes over to the radial artery, but most of the hand is ulnar artery. Most of the hand is ulnar nerve. It goes around this corner doing all the muscles of the hypothenar eminence, all of the dorsal interossei muscles, all of the palmar interossei muscles. It then ends over here at the adductor pollicis muscle. So here is the thenar muscles, which are run by the median nerve, because it's right there. And when the median nerve, when you try to pull that down just a little bit, you run into this little piece right there, and that's the recurrent median nerve. And the recurrent median nerve is gonna go back to all of the thenar muscle of the thenar eminence. But everything else, all the muscle, all the rest of the muscles in the hand are all ulnar. And so you can see how the median nerve is way down deep in there, in the canal with all of these tendons. And it's the reason why the ulnar arch is the more superficial, ulnar superficial arch, whereas the radial nerve actually comes from the back, pierces through onto the anterior surface of the hand. And so it forms this much deeper deep palmar arch. So the deep palmar arch is mostly radial, radial artery, whereas the superficial arch is all ulnar artery and ulnar nerve. Hope that helps.